talk about something completely awesome, the new Big Dudes drum mic clip. Traditionally, there's been a lot of uses for this on drums. You got toms, you got snare drums, you got all kinds of different percussion. But there's always been a problem at the wrong angle, going straight up, or ones that were just plain old too big and bulky. So no matter what you did, they got in the way. So we got rid of all that stuff with the new uh, Big Dudes mic clip. What we did was we changed the angle, we made it smaller, made it more durable, and added a couple cool features. So check this out, you're going to want to get these. So here we go with the new uh, Big Dudes Music drum mic clip. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, a lot easier to maneuver, more pliable, and easier to put on a drum. It pops right on there, gives you a little bit better angle. Even with an old school 57, the big old mic that's always in the way, you can scoot it back, cable comes out here, stays out of the way of your cymbals. For almost any player, you can find a very, very usable spot for a drum mic to get that sound you're looking for while you're playing live. So here we go with a small, new style, uh, miniature mic for a drum set. As you can see, it goes on here pretty easy. Stays back out of the way if you want it to, or you can get a close mic technique here just by loosening the knob, the thumb screw, a couple turns, and sliding it down to get that close drum mic sound. Also, it gives you an angle kicked back, so if you have a different type of microphone, instead of the old ones that put the mic right here on the edge, this one allows you a better angle to get the better sound from the middle of the drum, which is where all the good sound comes from. So you got better placement, better angle, better materials, better design. Okay, so here we go on the snare drum. Right now we've got the traditional style uh, placement on the big dude's clip with the mic uh, on the top side here. What we do is we put it on there, we put a, we put a nice old SM57 in there which most everybody uses or has used in the past. Pretty good placement on a snare drum, not bad, but still kind of in the way still kind of big, hangs over the front of the drum. So what we did with that was we took it and we turned it around. We made it reversible so that you could actually easily just take this off of here, turn it around backwards, which I already have one here done backwards. So you can see the difference going forwards and going backwards. So you just take the thumb screw out and turn it around or upside down, however you want to say it. Put it on there and it does a couple of things. It gives you a little bit better placement of the microphone on the snare drum and it gets it off of the snare drum so for you sound guys that on the microphones the drummers that don't have the best aim aren't hitting and breaking your microphones. Pretty easy solution right there for an age-old problem. You can move it in, you can move it out, you can change it. So if you want to get a different sound from a little closer to the middle, you can do that. It fits in between drums and such like um, things for different setups that you might run into all the time. You never know where you're going to be. You have a solution right there in your pocket. You can actually mount it on different things like hardware, um, anything you can put the clip around, you can pretty much almost guarantee that it's going to stay with regular playing and regular use. So let's say we got a hi-hat we got no room to maybe put a stand in here or something. You literally can just clip it on the stand and you usually use the knuckle of the stand as the base, pull your microphone up there and there's your hi-hat microphone. So it's low and out of the way, ugly cables and everything aren't seen and it's out of the way of the dangerous sticks. Also, the same principle with cymbals uh, works on cymbals, it works on hi-hats. So if you have a good cymbal stand here, you can clip this on it, use the knuckle as the base so it doesn't slide down, it'll stay on there. You got a great place to mount your overheads. Anything that'll fit on this clip, on this thread, any standard mic clip, or any shock mount mic clip, this will hold them all in place. So we took into account the age-old problem of how do you mic congas and bongos without putting a bunch of stands in the way. What we did here 
with the Big Dudes Music Clip is we made it a little smaller so it fits the smaller rims and things like that. So it fits most bongos and congas with the old style and new style hoops. So all you do, find your spot, clip it on, mic it up, stays out of the way of the player's hand, and you're ready to go. And here's one more very important tip. A thing a lot of people don't take into consideration is the overall weight of carrying around a mic box full of mic stands. So you got a round base stand here, it's about 15 pounds. Put 10 of those together, you got a lot of weight. You got a good tripod base here, it's about five or six, and a little mini one, about the same weight. So you're carrying around all the mic stands and stuff, you don't really know what you need, so you're carrying extra ones, versus the big dude's clips, which weigh a couple of ounces a piece. So you're not hauling around a bunch of extra weight, you're not having a bunch of extra ugly stands up in the way of the drummer, and you have stuff uh, just strewn everywhere to try to get the sound that you're looking for. So in short, get the clips to help you out in about a hundred different ways, make you sound better, make you look sexy. See you later.